Are we live? Yes, we're, we're live now. Hello, everyone. <laughs> so let's start with Miss Malaysia. Hi, everyone. Mm -hmm. Abaka Bar. <laughs> Thank you. So the, <laughs> the question earrings. of the day. Okay. What would you like people to know about you? that I am actually a huge foodie. I love to eat food. And if you ever bring me to a buffet, I am your friend. So yes, that's something that you should know about me. <laughs> and how's your experience so far in the competition? It has been great. Um, I'm loving everyone. Everyone's so nice, so polite. And yeah, just super fun here. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello, Miss South Africa. Hello, I'm fantastic, thank you. How are you? I'm perfectly fine. So the question, what would you like people to know about you? Hmm. I think that I am an occasional gym bunny. So the gym and I have a love-hate relationship. So mm -hmm. I like to claim I'm a gym bunny, but you'll never see me at the gym for like three months. And then you'll see me for a week, and then not see me for another three months. So, yeah. <laughs> so um, how's your experience so far in the Supranational? Really amazing. It's exceeded my expectations in every way. Everybody, I'll echo the words of Miss Malaysia. Everybody is just super nice, like genuine. And I always appreciate genuine people. So, yeah. Okay, you've been getting a lot of support from the family. How do you feel about it? I'm humbled. Um, support is always very lovely. Um, I definitely see all of it. I definitely feel all of it, and I appreciate all of it. What were so, we talking about? Sorry. The message. Oh, guys, thank you so much. I think this is the first time I actually get a beautiful um, international pageant experience. I am just soaking it all in. I'm living in the moment, very present, and I just appreciate all of you guys. Thank you. Thank so you. Miss India, can you please uh, stand up? Hello there. So um, the question, what would you like people to know about me? To know about me? I'm super adventurous. I would be up and um, I can also live on chocolate milkshake for the rest of my life. <laughs> Lovely. And how's your experience so far in the fashion? Oh, it's been beautiful. Um, so many people from across the world. And it's been an insightful, beautiful journey till now. And message to everyone in India. In India? Yes, your message to the uh, supporters. Thank you so much for everything you all do. I love you all from the bottom of my heart. And I'm super grateful to have you in my life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I forgot some words. So, Hola. Hola. How are you? So, I'm doing great. Como estas? Super bien. Y tu? Okay. <laughs> Two is how about me? Okay. So, um, the question, what would you like people to know about you? Ok, ¿lo puedo responder en español? Ok. Ok, me gusta que las personas sepan que soy auténtica, que soy natural y que me encanta mostrar siempre la verdad. Mm -hmm. And how's your experience? Mi experiencia está siendo fantástica, me estoy divirtiendo bastante y me encantaría que todas puedan probar algún día este maravilloso concurso. ¿Qué mensaje para fans en Paraguay? ¿Un para Paraguay? La verdad que no tengo un mensaje en sí, pero me encantaría decirles que los amo y los agradezco muchísimo por todo el apoyo que me están dando y les mando un beso gigante. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. And 
the country. Understood? Yes. yes. Hello, Go Sarah, Miss France. <laughs> Hello, bonjour. How are you doing today? I'm very great. And you? I'm doing good as well. So the question, um, what would you like people to know about you? Um, I'm a really humble person. I have a, a good personality. I have a good smile. Uh, and I'm sorry if I'm someone some mistake in English. Uh, uh, in my life, I'm doing. I'm a model, and I really love animals. Like I really love my favorite animal is dog. And yes, yeah, something is good. How many dogs do you have? I just want one dog. Uh, this is a border collie, and he has nine nine months. So he's a baby, and it's called Snow, like the snow in English. Yeah, it's cute. So how's your experience in the fashion so far? <laughs> so this is my first international pageant. So this is my first really. Uh, Are you loving it? Yes, this is really cool, and I think my favorite things in this pageant is like they have so many girls in different country and I, my favorite thing is just to know how do you say hello in this language I love that like really wow. always like oh, the same message and everyone in France you can speak in uh, French ok bah, bonjour tout le monde j'espère que vous allez bien je suis super contente de représenter mon pays la France et très heureuse aussi parce que je viens de Bretagne et ça me tenait à cœur de le dire je vous fais plein de gros bisous et au revoir de Paris je vous aime Merci. <laughs> Merci de beaucoup. I love it. I'm turning my phone. Hello, Miss Portugal. Hi, everyone. I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing fine as well. So, the question is uh, what would you like people to know about me? So, I want to know that people knows about me. I'm a friendly uh, girl. I'm super amazing and funny girl. And I want to know that I miss Portugal and I went to the crown. <laughs> wow. Okay, so how's your experience so far? In yeah, the, so I'm expecting a high, I, I have a high expectations for Miss Supernational. This is my fourth pageant and I'm really, really excited to be here and represent Portugal. Okay, message to everyone in Portugal. Hola a todos, sou Ana Rita Aguiar, sou de Valcâmara, represento Portugal e quero que todos saibam que estou aqui para representar a nossa cidade, o nosso país e darei o meu melhor. Obrigada a todos. Thank you. Thank you. question for today and what would you like people to know about you? Uh, I would like people to know that I have a very big heart, a very soft heart, uh, especially for animals and I try to do everything I can to help them and I miss my fur baby at home, his name is Svenny. Wow, how many fur uh, babies do you have? I have the one, he's more than enough, he gives me so much love, so yeah. What's his name? Svenny. Svenny. Yeah. And if someone will visit your country, Iceland, where would you take him or her? Um, I would love to take them to the Blue Lagoon, obviously. Blue Lagoon. It's so nice, it's so cozy, and it's just a nice place to relax and disconnect for a little while. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hello. How are you? Today? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, so the question is, what would you like people to know about you? So, uh, I want to know, uh, people to know about me, about my love about the animals. Like you saw in my Grand Dog project, I really love them. I have four animals and back at home. I've adopted like three animals from the fires in Greece and I'm really trying to make sure that every animal in Greece is stray animal in Greece will have home, food and water and I really uh, want from Miss Super National if I have the chance to make sure that all these stray animals all over the world we have this opportunity too. Thank you. And another question, if someone will visit your country where would you Okay, I will take him first of all in Athens to sightseeing mm -hmm. and then in Naxos, in Sandorini and of 
course in Mykonos because all all people want to go in Mykonos, right? Yeah. For Padre. Thank you so much. I will go to Santorini after. Yes. I will waiting for you. Thank you. Keep up your light. Oh yeah. So hello there, I'm Miss Indonesia. How are you doing today? I'm great. I'm great. We just moved to another town here in Poland, and look at the the view. It is amazing, full of greens. Yes. So um, the question: What would you like people to know about you? Yes, about me. Many of them uh, haven't known that I'm pretty sporty, a very sporty uh, individual. Actually, I play basketball, tennis, badminton, and so many other stuff because I was raised in a racer family. My family is a drift racer in Indonesia, so I might not be a racer just like them, but yeah, I channel that competitive spirit through other sports. Wow, interesting. So if someone will visit your beautiful country, where would you bring her? Ooh, lots, lots of destination actually. We have several islands that have beautiful, beautiful uh, oceans and beach, but most of them absolutely they know Bali. And as Bali, it is uh, will be the town and the island for our G20 this year. So yeah, this year will be the perfect year to visit Indonesia. It's open now, right? Yeah, it is open. <laughs> okay. And what about a message to everyone in your country who's supporting you all the way? Yeah. Thank you so much, first of all, for those who have been staying tuned in and then supporting all of the beautiful girls on Supranational 2022 this year. And I hope you, call, you all can keep spreading positive messages and keep supporting all nations, all countries, because all of us has beautiful and unique messages from our from the ground up project. And I wish from this now on we can start to ex expand and enhance our from the ground up project to a larger uh, cities or maybe larger countries all over the world. Okay, very well said. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. See ya. Better life. Yes. Hola, Miss Ecuador. Hola, como están? Hi to all, to everyone. How are you? Doing great. So, yes. Miss Ecuador, and the question: What would you like people to know about you? Okay, I think every girl that is here is unique. But I can tell you about me that I am a hardworking woman. I work since I was 16 years old and that made me become the woman that achieved our, my dreams and always do my best. No matter the problems, no matter like, I always see opportunities in life. Wow. And also my resilience is the ones that, that makes me become uh, what you see and what you know about me. So you said you started working at 16? At 16 years. Really? Yes. Why? Uh, I, I want to help my mom, so she she supports me and my younger sister, and I want to be a support for them too. And I start working as a catwalk coach, so really? it's, yes, that wow. was my dream. And I continue to work as a catwalk coach, and I'm really happy to do it. <laughs> I want to see your pasarela. Pronto. Muy pronto. <laughs> if someone will visit Ecuador, where would you take him or her? Okay, thank you, Ecuador, for all your support. Gracias, Ecuador, por todo su apoyo. Los amo mucho. Y bueno, espero que se sientan orgullosos de cómo los estoy representando. And love for everyone. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Hi. Hola, Miss Peru. Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? I'm doing fine, great. Actually, the hotel is a beautiful place. Yes. So, on a question, what would you like people to know about you? Okay, I like to be real because re being real is the key. And uh, also, something that they don't know is that in winter I like to sleep with two socks. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, and I have a lot of things that they don't know because there are things like are so personal. But especially that, of course, that I've been into sports since I was so young. Mm -hmm. I play football. I play basket. Actually, we have a team right now where a lot of women and um, we actually we go to play on Wednesdays. All Wednesdays we play soccer. Wow. 
Yep. I'm a sports girl. <laughs> so uh, if someone will visit uh, Peru, where would you take him or her? Oh my god. Definitely I will take him to eat a ceviche. Like, mm -hmm. definitely. Because, ceviche. yeah, it's so, t like, it's the best food. It's so fresh. It's It has a lot of, like, um, nutrientes. It, it's so powerful that when you try it, like, you will never forget it. Wow. Yeah. Mm, <laughs> so, mensaje para fans en Perú. Sí, claro. Hola a todos, ¿cómo están? Muchísimas gracias por todo el apoyo que vienen dándome. Estoy muy, muy agradecida con ustedes. Quiero también mandarles un beso enorme a todos mis peruanos hermosos que están ahí dando y gritando todo el día Perú. Muchísimas gracias. Y aquí Perú está representándolos de la mejor manera. Gracias. Gracias. Thanks. Bye. Hi, I'm super happy to be here. I'm very excited and I'm loving this new hotel we came here today. Mm -hmm. So the question, what would you like people to know about you? Okay, I am a very authentic person. I usually don't try like to fit in where I don't. Mm -hmm. I usually am very happy. I love to smile. I am a very family person. I love spending time with my family, with my beautiful dog named Kala. Um, I love my mom like more than anything else in the world. She's like my um, biggest inspiration, my best friend, my everything. I really need her in my life. And a fun fact is that she actually, well, I look a lot like her. Almost everyone always asks us, like, if we're twins uh, or, really? well, not Your twins. Mom? Yeah, my mom, <laughs> my uh, my sister. Hi, we're sister. very alike. She's like, she's just like a little bit more small than me, but yeah, she's not only my best friend, I love her. And a fun fact is that she also looks like me. Wow. Is she yeah. planning to be a beauty queen as well? Is she what? Planning to be a beauty queen like um, you? No, she's 50. What? She's 50 years old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, I don't know if there's pageants. <laughs> the question, um, uh, yeah. If there's pageants for 50 year old mm. moms, but... She will be for uh, But she's happy that I'm here representing. Uh -huh. yeah. And if someone will visit Costa Rica, like one of the candidates will visit, where would you bring her? Okay, I would tell one of the candidates that if you're going to Costa Rica, you should go to Guanacaste. There are amazingly beautiful beaches and also to Limon, to the province of Limon. Yeah, and also the people will welcome you with a very warm heart and you will never want to leave. Okay, mensaje para fans en Costa Rica. Hola a todos en Costa Rica, muchas gracias por apoyarme. Estoy muy orgullosa de poder representar esta banda. La puerto con mucho orgullo en mi pecho y muchísimas gracias a todos los que me han seguido durante este tiempo. Gracias. Un beso, bye. <laughs> After her. Okay, let's okay. give it uh, with a better lighting. Okay, my sash has been misbehaving. So, Miss Kenya. Hi. You're looking fabulous. Thank you. My so sash has been misbehaving. We need to <laughs> stick it up. Okay. Oh, I think Question. we got it. Um, what would you like people to know about you? What I would like people to know about me is that I'm very outgoing. Other than that, something a little bit more personal, I am very independent. So I'm 19 years old and I'm on my way to starting my business empire. Hopefully it becomes that. Uh, it's called Emmanuel and that's because I'm a Christian and I believe so much in God and I want people in this generation to believe in that too. Aside from that, I have my woman without limits. So we've lost so many beauty queens to mental health like Chelsea Christmas USA and people like that, not just the beauty queens, but other girls whose struggles are not hard. And I want people to hear about them more. And Woman Without Limits just tells them to focus more on personal growth and self-love, just because those things in the end, they really contribute to better mental health. When you water yourself and you take care of yourself, you're more likely to have a better mental state of mind. And that's what I want the world to know about. Wow. Beautiful. Thank you message. so much. And what about uh, 
like someone would visit Kenya, mm -hmm. which part of the country would you bring her? Oh, so recently I went to Masai Mara. I've never really traveled Kenya that much, but when I did travel the whole of Kenya, it was amazing. The Mara is amazing. I got to go on a hot air balloon and in the morning, during sunrise, just land in the midst of all animals. Now those who don't know, Kenya has won the best safari destination seven times in a row. Wow. And we all know what they say, seven is the number of completion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, every national park, almost every national park of the reserve has all the big five animals. And that's actually what my national gift is about. Really? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, welcome, of course. <laughs> Thank you. So Max. Hey, 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 also, I paint jackets oh, and I sell them. <laughs> it's like if I have my personal brand about that. Mm -hmm. And also, I had a husky who I love a lot. Wow. Uh, I think that each history about my Instagram have my husky. <laughs> wow. And also, I used to start my day at 5 a.m. to walk with, with my little pet. Wow. And sometimes I skate also all the things that I have are for a skate. <laughs> Um, what else? I'm 20 years old. I'm a student marketing mm, career. Um, I love to meet people, to meet places, to meet different forms to think. Or I don't know. I I like to grow up each each day by day, and all the all the time be like conscious about what is happening around me. And I would like that you know that Mexico is a big and excellent place to visit. So you all are your all are welcome to Mexico. If so whatever you want, you can visit us. <laughs> Which part of the country do you, of, in Mexico do you recommend? Um, well, I'm from Guadalajara, Jalisco. The places that are so visited here is Tequila, Jalisco, where you can drink and meet people and have a and enjoy a great time. Also, Quintana Roo is to visit, Tulum, all that places are so beautiful. But I think that Mexico has the biggest biodiversity, so you can meet everything there, like have all the type of ecosystem, and whatever you want to do it, you can do it in Mexico. <laughs> Question, what would you like people to know about you? About me, uh, I'm 24 years old. Uh, I'm an entrepreneur, economist by profession. Uh, yes, I have a small school in my town. Really? Yes, and uh, I love singing. Yeah, I'm singing since when I was a kid. And uh, also participated in some contests. Um, I also love traveling. Yeah, I lived in Hungary about six years in Budapest. Uh, I love meeting new people, learning about new cultures, and um, yes, yes. <laughs> Interesting. So, if one of the candidates will want to visit Kazakhstan, where would you bring her? 
Uh, I mean, uh, one of the candidates would like to visit your country. Country, which uh -huh. part of Kazakhstan? Would of you course, it's my town. It's Almaty. It's so beautiful. We have beautiful mountains, landscapes, where you have can in winter ski and uh, do sports. I'll definitely recommend my town, Almaty. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, how are you? It's nice, it's good. <laughs> okay, so what would you like people to know about you? Um, about yourself. About yourself? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> my name is Shirin. Uh, I'm from Kyrgyzstan. Um, 18 years old. Um, how are you? Miss Pali? I'm fine. <laughs> so, do you have hobbies? My hobbies and swimming. Uh, horse uh, riding wow. uh, and uh, my work and uh, nature, uh, nature cardio hero mm -hmm. uh, nature neighbors and I'm study um, medical st uh, student um, here. <laughs> uh, it's time you want to be a doctor yeah yeah wow. doctor. <laughs> and neighbors nature, uh, nature doctor nice. uh, so if uh, I will visit your country, yeah. which okay. part of Kyrgyzstan would you bring me? Okay, okay, come on. <laughs> what what place in Kyrgyzstan? Okay, okay. <laughs> Is there like a famous uh, uh, place in your country? Uh, my country is very beautiful, very, very, very beautiful, shining and uh, uh, hot. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, because and uh, uh, four seasons mm -hmm. and um, uh, autumn, summer, uh, and uh, very beautiful because and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of mountains. <laughs> yeah, a lot of mountains because my world is sorry, my language in this. Okay, you're doing a good job. Yeah, thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Bye. So oh, you sweaty. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> sweaty, sweaty, so hot. <laughs> oh, well, so it's this. I'm doing great. I'm feeling great. Okay. After I got beaten yes. from the hornet yesterday. Tell me about it. I mean, it still have some rest but left here, but I'm not allergic to it, so I got lucky. And I think this might be the good side from mm. Poland. Yeah, you know what I mean. Experience. It's experience. <laughs> so, so yeah. the question: What would you like people to know about you? What do I want people to know about me? I am funny, actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I am not a serious girl, and to be honest, I'm so so happy and so grateful to be here. I love being here. I love people here, and. So what happened with me last night, yesterday, after I got this, like, the beaten, and everyone just kind of, like, care about me, and I feel so warm to be here. You can, you, you can feel that feeling when you be in uh, any kind of bad situation, or when you get sick, when you far from home, mm -hmm. but someone that being with you at that moment just can make you feel like you feel safe, you feel happy, you feel okay to be here. So, nice. of course. Yeah. So, if someone will visit Thailand, which part of your country would you recommend to visit? My hometown. I really want to take you guys to my durian farm in Shumhorn. So, if you know durian is kind of king of fruit and my parents on a durian farm and I'm grow up from durian farm I am not a big fan of durian Me um, too. no but <laughs> I just want to I just want you to try durian chips it's a completely different with just, just durian you know so and my mom really good at making a durian chips so that's the place that I want you to go to visit in Thailand Okay. Welcome. Have a good day. <laughs> Sweating. You just. Do. I think you need some water now. I need the air conditioning. Oh, yeah, that's true. Really? What? Twice. 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 Twice.
Hello girls, we're live on the Miss Supranational page. Question of the day, Miss Finnegan and Sabega, what would you like people to know about you? Something that I would like people to know about me is that I have secrets. secrets. And you guys will never know. Mm. <laughs> Can you tell us one secret? <laughs> one secret. So this is something that I actually disclosed publicly, I think, two weeks ago. Uh, a week after my preliminary interviews for Supra, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. And for my whole competition, I've been under treatment. So I did my semi-final show straight out of the hospital on morphine. <laughs> um, so that's something people didn't know about me. And I actually want to use that story to inspire others and show them that no matter what you're going through, if you really want to accomplish something, there's nothing stopping you. Go ahead. You can do it. Okay. So yeah. Thank you. And we have Miss Mauritius. Could you please uh... sure. So the question, what would you like people to know about you? Oh, this is very okay because um like I'm a very what we call in French like intrépide. So I'm very full of uh, surprise. Ah. I'm very talented and to represent my country, I think I'm the best ambassador because uh, we are a very diverse uh, country and as I'm very talented, so here you are. And you can find everything that I do on my Instagram page. So I'm a visual artist, a fashion model, I'm a teacher, I'm a great sister <laughs> and um, the best daughter of my nation. So yeah. And if someone will visit Mauritius, yeah. where would you take him or her? First, when you come to Mauritius, you contact me. Then I will make, I will be your tourist guide. And there are so many places to visit. And the food, I promise you, the food will stay forever in your brain, in your heart. And you will come back to Mauritius every year. I promise. Interesting. <laughs> And what about a message to everyone in your country? The message? Oh, thank you everyone for supporting me, for your kind words. Uh, I miss you a lot. So, Marie manque moi, vous me manquez beaucoup. Uh, I'm sending you much love and I will do my best, like always, to represent you and our beautiful island. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Hello. Hello. So, the question of the day, what yes. would you like people to know about you? Oh, well, I am so thankful. I never expect this and I am so grateful that this opportunity is given to me. So I'm thanking my fans from Thailand, Cambodia and Belgium and elsewhere because this is so big for me and it can just happen with only your support. Thank you. Lovely. <laughs> and if someone will visit Belgium, where would you take him or her? Oh, definitely to the big city. It's called the marketplace. You have chocolate, you have waffles, you have like like place, plenty place to visit, and you got the beautiful structure of Belgium that you can see and take pictures. Okay. Really popular. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. Malta, how are Hi. You? I'm good, thank you. Okay. How are you? Perfectly fine as well. Can you please uh, stand up? Okay, so Miss Malta, the question, what would you like people to know about you? Oh, well, uh, I guess something that I would like people to know about me is my talents. Um, I really love to sing. I dance ballet, I play the piano as well, so the art the art sector has been a wonderful part of my life and a big part of my life. So I really grew in the arts field, so singing has always been um, uh, very present within my life as well as music. So I really, really enjoy learning within that field and uh, it's, it's a great passion of mine. So I always seek to explore um, myself within the field and explore different genres of music, different styles of singing. So. It's, what it's is a great your specialty? 
my specialty? Um, uh, I guess it would have to be singing. I love ballet and piano with all my heart, but singing is a very big passion of mine. Oh my God. Um, Did, are you yeah. performing in the talent round? Unfortunately not, but um, uh, it's okay. I mean, I've had, I have many opportunities at home. Uh, the, the most recent opportunity I've uh, participated in was the Malta Eurovision Song Contest. So it was the local um, uh, competition where I performed with two other artists. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, uh, so that was such a wonderful experience. So I'm, I guess uh, you, you can expect to um, be part of every single competition. I mean, there's going to be successes and there's going to be failures. So I guess uh, this is one. I, I took one for the team. <laughs> So another question, what would you, uh, if someone would visit Malta, mm -hmm. where would you bring him or her? Oh, well, so if someone would come to Malta in the summer, I would definitely take them to the sea. Mm -hmm. um, we have so many beach beaches that are so beautiful. And so, so th there's a variety of sandy beaches and rocky beaches. So uh, I guess I would take take you to those places. And we also are very rich in history. So I would take you to the capital city of Valletta to see the churches and other historical places, to the old capital city of Malta, Imdina, um, which is such a beautiful old historic city. And uh, there is also the other two sister islands of uh, Malta, which are Camino and Gozo. So we could take a boat day to Camino and explore the Blue Lagoon and just have a nice swim and then go around Gozo to visit the many beautiful places that there are. So a lot, a lot of things to explore despite wow. being a small island. It makes me want to go to Malta. <laughs> oh yeah, come, come, I'll take you around. I'll take you around. Okay. Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Hello. Hello Miss Hong Kong. Hi. Hi there. How are you? I'm good. Okay, so How's the everyone? question, what mm -hmm. would you like people to know about you? Um, that's a really good question. I want people to know about me as a very hardworking and resilient woman. Um, I study law and I currently um, work as a lawyer in Hong Kong. Um, I believe that law is very important and it actually contributes to a thriving society. Um, I enjoy working very hard uh, in my career because I believe that um, in addition to being kind and compassionate as a woman, um, a woman should also be very independent. That's why I also want um, you know, my future generation and perhaps my future children to be independent and smart and uh, also compassionate. I got goosebumps. I'm speaking in front of a lawyer. A twenty. A twenty. <laughs> so if someone would visit Hong Kong, where would you take him or her? Um, I probably would take them to the peak. So um, I actually live very close to the peak. And if you're at a peak, you can get a very good view um, of the entire Hong Kong. Um, it's very nice. And also there are lots of um, different cuisine and restaurants near the peak. Um, and one interesting thing about um, the peak uh, is that I always go up there and to go for a hike before um, I go to work and it's really relaxing um, and I, I want to bring all the tourists there to have a really good view of Hong Kong. Okay. Sha -sha. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello there, Miss Philippines. Mabu, hi. How are you doing today? I'm doing Great. We're in a really beautiful hotel and I'm having so much fun with my sisters because it really looks like we're in, well, we are in a different country and I feel like I'm having the full European experience. Mm -hmm. First time in Europe? <laughs> it's my first time in Europe and the weather is really different and the food's really different but I'm really enjoying it because it's a new experience for me. Okay, the question, what would you like people to know about you? I would love people to know that I own my own ballet school. I was a former professional ballet dancer, but now that I retired, I like to share my love of dance to kids and to girls my age and also to the titas of Manila. And it just really taught me that I can chase my passions in different forms in different stages of my life. Interesting, you have your own ballet school. Yes. Can I uh, enroll? Yes, for of free? course. <laughs> <laughs> of course, for you, Miss Pawi, for free. <laughs> but I teach it online, so I make it accessible to everyone because you can do it at home. 
interesting. So another question, if someone will visit the Philippines, one of your candidates decides to go, where would you take them? Ooh, um, I would take them to Siargao. I think that the beaches in the Philippines are one of the best things of the uh, best things about the country. But what I love about Siargao is there's so much culture and there's so many people that have brilliant stories and I would love the girls to see what it's really like to be a Filipino in an island and with surrounded by so much good food, good mu music and just a lot of culture. You've been receiving a great support from uh... Yes, oh, thank you guys. I'm so, so happy and so motivated actually by all of your messages. I feel the love even from miles and miles away and I hope that you can continue your support and I promise I will raise our flag and do my very best for the Philippines. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Hello there, Hello. Yes, Labat. Yeah. Hi. Better lights. Okay, how are you? I'm really fine, and you? I'm really enjoying this area because we are in the nature, and there is also a river going through our resort, so it's really beautiful. Okay, so the question: What would you like people to know about you? Yes, thank you for the question. Uh, you already know that I'm 21 years old, but. Uh, I think the interesting fact about me is that I study mechanical engineering at Slovak Technical University. So I have like two worlds. One is technical world of about cars and electromobiles, and one is this beauty pageant. Wow, interesting. And if someone will visit Slovakia, which part of the country would you bring? I will definitely bring you to the High Tatras. It's like the most beautiful part of Slovakia, our nature. It's quite similar to the Poland because it's like near to Poland and also I would like to bring you to Bratislava to the capital city to see our castle. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank, you. thank you very much. Hello there, let's start first with Miss El Salvador. I was waiting for you. Oh my god, this is the moment. It's your time to shine. Oh, okay, how are you, Miss El Salvador? I'm really good. I'm excited because I have the best opportunity in my life to represent my country. I have um, a really big responsibility to represent all my country. But I'm happy. I'm enjoying this moment. And I'm doing my best. Those of you who have casual looks like pants, need to go and change into something more gala-like. But if you are in a dress, if you are elegant, then don't. Okay? But if you do it fast, you don't have time. Only girls who are not elegant. You look yes. elegant. So <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I know. I don't know. I'm kidding. Thank so you. Another question. Um, what would you like people to know about you? Well, the people know a lot of me, uh, knows a lot of things about me, but it's for my country, and I know a lot of people are around the world here. So I have to say that I consider a woman with an independent woman, a lovely woman, a fighter and dreamer. Very well said. Yeah. So, Miss El Salvador, if someone will visit your country, where would you take him or her? We had to all place because my country had a uh, really good beaches, and this is one of the most important thing that we have at, in El Salvador. Um, don't forget the gastronomy or the delicious pupusas. I don't know if you know about it, but uh, maybe I would take them to the Tunco. is the most popular beach in our country. Interesting. So, mensaje para fans en El Salvador. Hola, hola, mi bella El Salvador. ¿Qué tal? Bueno, les saluda Jennifer Figueroa, la re actual representante de mi supranational El Salvador. Estoy súper feliz y emocionada de representar a mi bello país. Estoy dando lo mejor de mí. Estoy demostrando que El Salvador tiene muchísimas cosas buenas que mostrar ante el mundo, no solo ante Latinoamérica, sino que ante todo el mundo. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Okay. Hello Hi, there. how are you? 
so excited to finally speak with you. Yes. <laughs> so the question, what would you like people to know about you? Well, what would I like people to know about me? Well, I represent the Dominican Republic here at the Miss Supranational Competition 2022. I am so excited and so grateful for this opportunity. It's been such a long journey. I graduated from journalism and international relations. And something that I would like people to know about me is that I developed a social empowerment program in the Dominican Republic where I was the first person to introduce um, the menstrual cups. So I've been training doctors and medical staff in rural clinics and hospitals in San Pedro de Macorís. So I personally uh, visit these clinics and I train the doctors as well as educating um, women and teenage girls in the Dominican Republic. <laughs> Wonderful. Another question. If someone will visit your country, where would you take him? Oh my gosh, I will probably take them to so many places. But one of the first places, it will probably be Santo Domingo, since it's the first city in America. I will also take them to Valle Ibe because Valle Ibe is um, very um, famous for diving. If you are into diving, and Samana, Samana is beautiful. So those places, I will take them. Muchísimas gracias a todas las personas de República Dominicana que me están apoyando, que están ahí conectados, eh, quedándose súper tarde, mandando mis mensajes de apoyo. La verdad es que todos esos mensajes me han estado ayudando muchísimo y de verdad, de verdad lo aprecio de todo corazón. Así que seguiré aquí dando lo mejor de mí para tener una, para que ustedes se sientan orgullosos de mí. Los quiero muchísimo. Un beso y un abrazo. <laughs> Hi, Mabu. Hi, Philippines. Gentlemen, foreign. Konnichiwa, Japan. Hello, world. I'm Lina from Japan. Lovely. Yeah. So it's Japan. You celebrated Hi. your birthday. Yeah, thank you so yes, much. Uh, tomorrow at the talent show, please support me. I'll show you karate. Now, are you ready? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Mr. Pan, the question: What would you like people to know about you? Sorry. What would you like people to know about yourself? Ah, uh, okay. About yourself. Yes. Uh, I'm living in Hokkaido, northern part of Japan. I'm 28 yesterday, my birthday. Yeah. Uh, my job is karate practitioner and dental hygienist and fashion model and uh, tourism ambassador of uh, my country. Yeah, wow. thank you. Okay, if uh, one of the candidates will visit Japan, yeah. where would you bring him or her? Uh, so if someone will visit Japan, like me, if I go to Japan, where would you take me? Uh, what part in Japan? In okay, Tokyo, okay. Japan. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Japanese food is so Good. and my living uh, no I live in Hokkaido uh, the country is so cold winter is so cold and powder snow and many many so many high mountains yes I um, my hobby is snowboard and ski yes yeah <laughs> thank you okay, yeah Thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Hello, girl. Hi. You got us here. So Hi, how, how are you doing today? Very good, enjoying everything, going, knowing a little bit some of the girls in our free time. Okay, can you please uh, stand yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. And let's go to a better life. So, the question what would you like people to know about you? I think I. I am a person who develops me myself every day 
and for me, for me, a life is definitely a challenge. And actually, I'm very honored to be the first black woman to represent Spain and actually being there and empower the next generations to fight and do whatever they want with such hard. And I believe that is that my mission and was what I want to represent and also give to all the world knows. Wonderful. Okay, if someone will visit your country, where would you take him or her? Well, definitely I live in one of the beautiful cities. The name is Malaga. If for sure you have to visit because if there is amazing beach, amazing weather for all the year. And now the weather is amazing. Also the food. There is a lot of Mediterranean food. So you can enjoy even the seafood, also the famous paella. So the next time you should go to Malaga. And also you. <laughs> Muchas gracias, Miss España. De nada. Kisses for everyone from Spain. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Let's uh, introduce Miss Curacao. Yes. Hi, Polly. Oh, hi. hi. Everyone. So, Ms. Girasa, yes. um, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. So, we just got to the hotel. I'm so excited. As you can see, we have a busy schedule, so I'm enjoying every moment of it. Mm -hmm. So, um, what would you like people to know about you? So, I would like people to see me as I am. I'm a very humble person, a person who likes to help. I also consider myself a resilient person. I understand that life um, contains so many challenges. So. Um, that's why I like to contribute to my um, to the community. I am a proud ambassador of the Ambulance Wish Foundation, Curacao, and also I'm a proud member of the Red Cross Foundation. I am so honored and to represent Curacao, a small island, so I'm here, guys. Lovely. So if I'm going to visit Curacao, where would you bring me? Oh, I will bring you the beach. It's so healing. You, your skin will come out so soft. Um, I also will bring you to our building. It's on our on the uh, World Heritage Site of UNESCO, and our underwater world is very popular wow. for the diving. You have dolphins in the Yes, also. Interesting. Yes. And a message to everyone who's uh, following your journey. Ask them to support so you. everyone, not only support me but all of the girls because this is a hard work. We want everyone to we would like to represent um the focus is to a better a better man for the world so we're doing our best here so not only support me but everyone here thank you so much thank Very you lovely. bye guys What would I love people to know about me? I'm well, I am from the beautiful country of Zambia, um, land of extensive minerals, home of the mighty Mosotunia. I'm really proud of my country and where I'm from. We have amazing tourism, and I just encourage you guys to come and visit the culture, the people. I mean, it's just an amazing place. Um, but I moved to the United States in 2010. Um, I speak about three or four languages from my country, um, and I just love to eat. <laughs> So yeah, that's just a little bit about me, but also I do work in commercial real estate and also own um, a foundation, Daughters Pride Foundation, which I founded, which operates back home in my home country, helping with young girls and women fighting against HIV and AIDS, um, child sexual abuse, and early marriage. Mm, that's very <laughs> Thank you. So another question is Zambia, if uh, someone will visit your country, which part of it would you recommend? You know, I actually come from a country where there's so much to see, um, but just to name a few, the Victoria Falls, um, the Lake Kariba, so the Victoria Falls is the largest waterfall in the world, the Lake Kariba is the largest man-made lake in the world, um, we've got Kofiwe where you've got animals, you can go see giraffes, um, hippos, everything. Um, I mean, there's just an endless amount to see, but also one of my favorite places is the capital city, which is Lusaka. Um, and there, there's just so much to do, so much culture. You can have street food vendors on the street. I mean, there's just, there's just so much to choose from. Interesting. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello, Miss Nepal. Namaste. 
How are you? Good, I'm very good. Very excited and happy to be here. Okay, so the question of the day, what would you like people to know about you? Um, I would like people to know that I am, uh, I have a twin. Oh. I am a very person who um, prioritizes my values very much, which are love, empathy, authenticity, and hard work. Mm -hmm. I have always been a person who really, really values people who are real and authentic, mm -hmm. and that is what I want to be all the time. Interesting. And if someone will visit your country, where would you take him or her? Um, I've grown up in a very historic city, just like Novi Shaz, and it has it holds a beautiful history, which is very cultural as well. And if there was a place that I could take people from Poland to uh, in Nepal, then that would definitely be my hometown pattern. Mm. And uh, finally, a message to everyone in their country, ask them to support you. Yes, um, my people back home have been very, very supportive of my journey. They've showered me with so much love and I cannot be grateful enough for giving me their love and their belief. Thank you so much and I hope you continue to shower me with your love and believe and pray and have your fingers crossed for Nepal here at Supranational. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Hello there, uh, Miss Poland. Hi. So is that the lighting here? Yeah, maybe you can stand up. Is that okay? <laughs> yes, perfect. So the question: um, How does it feel to be the host delegate? It's very amazing. I was a bit stressful mm -hmm. about women from all around the world come to my country, my home, yeah. but I hope they like it and I feel so humbled for this opportunity and I see them being very eager to learn about the country, to learn about the history and I think they are appreciate being here so that makes me very very happy. And uh, what would you like people to know about you? <sighs> about me? So I think I'm a very 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 um, motivated person. I have so many different um, and diverse interests. I was a professional pianist and an environmentalist. So my main field of interest right now as Miss is to raise awareness about global warming and climate change, mm -hmm. which I think is the main global problem right now. That's true. And we should take care of this. And I would like to use this platform to, um, to let people know that we have to start taking action. Otherwise, we will do ourselves to extinction yes. <laughs> and this is true and it's true actually yeah. this uh what's happening in poland it's yeah. very hot it is it is <laughs> never like this yeah. before it, yeah and also winter used to be very um snowy mm. and it's gone like right now it's the, the weather is crazy so mm. we have these um ev the evidence that global warming exists and i just want people to understand the issue <laughs> Okay, and finally, a message to everyone who, who supports you in this patch. Um, thank you so much, guys, for supporting. This is really, really inspiring and amazing that you guys are watching us here and supporting us because we, have, we are going through very stressful situations and it's not easy um, to embrace the stress, to, um, to, to be brave. Um, and to look good at the same time <laughs> so we are very very thankful i'm sure everyone here is very thankful for your support and hope to see you guys at the final show thank you thank you so much thank you bye Hello there, Miss Lau. Hello. How are, How are you? you? I'm doing great, thank you. Okay, so the question, what would you like people to know about you? Um, I would like people to know more about me that I'm really an open person and I'm uh, 
really passionate about uh, singing and music, so I really like to sing, and I'm a dog lover. <laughs> a dog lover. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Can you tell us something more about your country now? If we are going to visit your country, where would you recommend us to visit? Oh, yes. I would like to really recommend uh, Long Havan, which is the World Heritage Site of uh, our country. Uh, it has really beautiful landscapes, uh, stunning waterfalls, and you could also uh, going to hiking into the mountains and seeing like breathtaking views and it's really amazing people are really uh, welcome and really friendly with open hearts so yeah i hope everyone visit laos one day and i'm sure that you will really enjoy uh, some moments there and having some fun thank you very much thank you to say thank you. Swalalai. Kop jai lai lai. Thank you. Thank you. Hola. 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 So uh, one by one, please. So we have here Miss. Hello everyone. Panama. My name is Cecilia Medina. Miss Supernational Panama. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I am 29 year old. Best regard. So um, what would you like people to know about you? Yeah, Cecilia Medina is a single um, happiness person. I like running. Um, washing animals, um, share with many things in the in this time I share with you. Lovely. Okay, yeah. if uh, one of the candidates will visit Panama, Panama, which part of uh, your country would you recommend? Why? Why repeat like, it? Uh, if someone will visit, will yeah, go to Panama. What part of Panama would you? Ah, uh, okay. I will. Um, you you can visit in Panama, Casco Antiguo, Panama Canal, um, the beaches on Bocas del Toro, um, Cunayala. There are amazing sites. Very lovely. I'm inside Panama, San Panama. Hi everyone. Thank you for your support of me. Um, I am the best in the Miss Supernational 2022. Uh, Gracias. Gracias. Uh, I have already been. Hello there. Hi. Hello. 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 Bien, ¿y ustedes? Okay. I'm Jimena and I'm from Uruguay. Yes. Okay, the question. What would you oh, like no. people to know about you? I would love to... that people... Okay. Since they're recording there, we have to be here. quiet because they are recording. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm a sensitive person. I love to learn because um, I think knowledge is the best we can have in in our minds or our body. It's good for everything, and I think that every experience is uh, is good for that. And I love experiences like that where you can uh, get to know other cultures, other languages. We are comparing uh, in Spanish because we, are <laughs> we in America speak mostly Spanish and we are comparing words that we say different in different uh, countries. So this, this is amazing for me, the, the culture. Interesting. So um, if someone will visit Uruguay, where would you... Uh, recommend? Yeah. Well, Uruguay is a very small country, but it's beautiful. We have beaches, we have cities. Um, even they are small, they are they have their secrets. We have a lot of nature, and um, I think um, the capital Montevideo is a very point where you can start and visit our country, and from there you can go over. If, wherever you want, even though we don't have mountains, that is uh, curious, curious, and I think that you will love Uruguay. 
you will be very welcome. Oh, I will be set and welcome. <laughs> yeah, of course. Muchas, Whatever you want. Muchas gracias. Gracias. Besos. Okay, Ciao. I don't think about it. Okay. So for me, it wasn't needed. Hello there, Miss Guatemala. ¿Cómo Hi. estás? Muy bien, gracias. And how about you? I am doing fine. Thank you for asking. So. What would you like people to know about you? Well, that I am passionate about being part of the medical professional and need also combine my profession with being a model for my free times. And I like to do a tres leches cage week, which I sell to the restaurants in my country. Um, what about that I love animals, dogs. I have a dog that is a Rottweiler. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And I'm really happy to be here to, in representing my country, Guatemala. So thank you for all the people, for all Guatemalas that are supporting me because they uh, make me feel so so honored to be here. And I hope that every every Guatemalans that are supporting me are feeling proud of me. And I want to, to send this message from the people um, or families, which which every contest, because they are giving the best version of themselves. Very well said. Okay, Miss Guatemala, if someone will visit your country, where, which place would you recommend? Oh, I can do it at least, because there are two lot places that you could visit. We have the Tikal Ruins, that are Mayan civilization, and it's we are very, very beautiful to visit. We have Temuk Champe, that are um, some uh, spaces of water. But you can visit every place that in, I, am, I am sure that you will in love with my country, Guatemala. Okay, muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Bye. Thank you, bye, -bye. <laughs> Finally, we met. <laughs> really want to meet you and say thank you. Thank you a lot for like my journey. You support me a lot. Of course. Thank you. Thank you, darling. <laughs> so, Miss Vietnam, how are you? I'm doing great. Just like mm, the, f the first time I come here, like a little bit have check blood and the mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and like got a little bit sick. Uh -huh. But now it's got better. Did you sleep already? Yeah, sleep now is sleep good. Wow. And the, I mean, the environment in here really nice. Yes, and the yes. people in here are also really friendly. Okay, so the question, what would you like people to know about you? Uh, the, I want the people to know about me like the one that um, have a, a huge, like a good image and also a huge impact for other people, especially the young girls, to like, um, to know, to understand deeply about like, the importance of the education. So like, like that's in my, I'm a strong advocate for the edu education for children. So I really want them to understand deeply about their core value and try their best in their life to be a better person of themselves and every, like, have a big dream and determined to take action to achieve that. Wow. Okay, if someone will visit Vietnam, your country, which place would you recommend? Of course, my hometown. <laughs> that's it. Um, no, it's, the name is uh, Kung Thu City. And that's a like, really famous uh, floating market. Oh. It's been like you can go by the ball and you can like eating the refers and um, to enjoy everything on the boat and you can also shopping on the boat, boat. like they will um, they will have something they sell on the top of the boat and you can see that far away from you and you if you want to buy that you just call them wow, <laughs> that's really yeah interesting mm -hmm. right so f finally a message to everyone who's supporting you i see a lot of flags Vietnamese oh, flags. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Message to them. I appreciate everything and I really feel, I feel grateful for your support, your love. And I know that uh, for all of your support and your love, I have that journey. So uh, please follow my journey and on, uh, on the girl here. They so, I mean like, they so talented, so beautiful. And I think they, uh, we are as the, the, the woman, so we 
every single girl in here they have a, a special and they have a, a message for the people so support all the girls please thank, thank you, you. Thank you, darling. We'll see you later. Okay. So that's about it.